When you talk about a ballistic solution, um, you're always going to be talking in terms of minutes of angle or mils, okay? MOA and mils are just angular measurements, all right? It's the amount when you adjust your scope, you're either adjusting it in MOA or mils. When you get a fire solution from your ballistic solver, it's going to be in MOA or mils. So it's just like English or metric units. One isn't necessarily better or worse than the other. Just make sure that you whatever you choose to use or whatever your scope and ballistic solver use that you're comfortable with it and you know what it means. All right, so what does it mean? What is a minute of angle? Well, at 100 yards, a minute of angle is one inch, about one inch on the target face. And because it's an angle, it grows in size the further you go out. So by the time you get to 800 yards, one minute of angle is eight inches on the target face. All right, at 1,000 yards, it's 10 inches. So for example, let's say you have 30 minutes of drop at 1,000 yards. You're gonna dial 30 minutes of elevation on your scope, and what that's actually accounting for is 300 inches of drop because it's 30 times 10 at 100 yards. All right, if you did 30 minutes at 800 yards, then that would be 240 inches of drop. So the same number of minutes means a different amount of inches depending on your range. Likewise with mils, mil is short for mil radian, and that's kind of the metric version. A mil radian is one centimeter at 100 meters, so it's 10 centimeters at 1,000 meters. And that's what one click on a mil scope will give you. On mil scopes, uh, your clicks are in 10th mils, so every click gives you a centimeter at 100 meters and 10 centimeters at 1,000 meters. Um, likewise, MOA scopes are graduated in either usually quarter minute clicks. So it takes four clicks of the scope to move one inch at 100 yards or 10 inches at 1,000 yards. Some scopes like target scopes are refined to eight minute clicks. So it takes eight clicks to move the same amount. Another way that MOA is talked about in long range shooting is to express the grouping capability of a rifle. Okay, you'll often hear guys talk about Oh, my rifle is, you know, it's a half minute rifle or it's a quarter minute rifle. Well, what that typically means is that that rifle is shooting half minute groups and usually it's at 100 yards that it's stated. So if someone says they have a half minute rifle, what I picture that to mean is that they can shoot a half inch group at 100 yards. Um, groups that'll shoot half minute at 1,000 yards are much less common than rifles that'll shoot half minute at 100 yards. Uh, just due to the effects of uncertainty and range. So there's, there's a, several different ways that MOA and mills are used in long range shooting and that's integral to the language of the sport. So it's important to get really familiar with what the mathematical meaning is and gain some insight through experience with what those things mean. Um, for more information and details on you know, diagrams and visual aids for MOA and mills, you can uh, check out the Applied Ballistics books, which really break down all of the science and geometry into layman terms for long range shooters.